guys, Gaston from Connecting Tennis here. Welcome to another video. Um, this is gonna be Pedro's backhand training, okay? If you haven't seen the forehand training, there's gonna be a link here um, on the description. The video is on our channel, okay? In Connecting Tennis channel, so you can go there and see it. I'm gonna show you today the backhand training, okay? There in the forehand, there is a, a bigger interaction about who's, who's Pedro, okay? What he's trying to reach, okay? What's his goal? So if you haven't seen that one, check that one out and then come back here, okay? And see the backhand or see the backhand and then you can you can see also the, the forehand. So I'm gonna show you the training with it, but the, with the backhand. And then after I show you the training, I'm gonna be back here talking with you guys and telling you the little things, okay? He, need, he didn't need a big adjustment in the backhand, but I'm gonna be show you, showing you and telling you here what he needs to change and the things we work on. So let's check it out. Okay, so you're gonna show me your backhand, okay? Normal one, I'm not gonna say anything, just show me the way you hit it. There you go, get there. There you go, get there. Yes, get there. All right. Remember when we talked in the forehand that I told you that you needed to take it back and have the racket here with the tip always pointing forward? You're doing that right, you're getting here, taking it, but you're going straight here and you're not breaking to get from under the ball. That's why your, your hands are to reach it. So sometimes you try to lift here. The same thing, you need to relax the shoulders and let the hand drop here so then you can play a heavy ball. So now just focus in getting there, okay? Dropping the hand and getting from under. This, it would be your left hand, okay? Is the one that is gonna control the ball, okay? So don't get this one rigid. This one has to be almost like if you were not grabbing anything here, okay? Here, relax, go forward and fall. Let's go. Four more balls. Ready, go. Relax. There you go. Relax. Better there. Relax, break the hand. Nice. Relax. Much better. Much better. Okay, so it was great, okay, last time. But you need to go deeper. You were playing too short, okay? You need to aim from, imagine this line in the other side to the baseline, okay? Deep balls, heavy and with high bounce. You don't want to, you're gonna find again your backhand. So what we're gonna do for that, the same thing of breaking here the hand, but you need to get more involved with your legs, okay? Get under the ball all the time, try to be under the level of the ball. And sometimes you finish here like this, okay? Let the hand go there and finish here, just like if you were hitting your back again, okay? Let's go. Get the distance. There, oh, that's amazing. Get the distance. The, that's perfect. Come on, distance. Get from under. Done, okay, here. Just stiff here, let the hand go there in front. Let's go. That one, that was great. Okay, now simple drill, just like we did last time with the forehand, no bounce, break it. Now is when you, you have to break more. Remember the forehand I told you here, break The moment the ball is coming in the air, okay, you need to drop here and take the, the left hand fast. Okay, I'm gonna stay here. Let's go, there, get under, there you go, get under. There, perfect. Break the wrist. There you go. Great. Okay. Nice. But you see, once you get, once you get the, the, the wrist break here, it's, it's so hard to make a mistake if you get under the ball with your legs, and then you break the wrist. Yes, you can miss if you want to go so hard. Okay, really fast. You can then close fast. You're gonna miss in the net. Sometimes you want to put a lot of a spin in the ball. You're gonna go long. But the overall, okay, both, it's gonna be always easy and always fine of impact in front of you finishing okay and very important that you you fall with your legs so then you can recover the core and come back okay so as we work in the forehand okay the defense when i ask you to arrive open stand or getting close stance you're controlling now the close stance two little things that we just suggest the hand breaking you were too stiff here the finishing you were finishing here you need to finish okay with the hand going okay from this to this and just getting under the ball you're most of the times with your legs too rigid, okay? You need to be flexible, okay? With the height of the ball. So now we're gonna work the arriving there open stand, defending heavy in the other side. Let's go, push outside. All right. Here is when you have to break the most, okay? And control with the left. There you go, break. There you go. Break outside. There you go, break. Push 
when you get here, okay, this hand is the one that pushes the most. There you go. There. Nice. Even heavier. There. One more. Look at the ball. Don't get rigid. Nice. Nice. You want one more? Relax there and get to the ball. What happened there? You, you arrive, you stop, and then the ball was next to you. You need to find the distance there. Two more, you're gonna do it great. Let's go. See the distance? There you go. When you start to slide, distance, there you go. It's when you have to see when you go in there, and the moment, the moment you put the leg outside. If you put it one second after, then you're gonna get close to the ball, okay? So same thing, breaking, but paying attention where the ball is bouncing, and the moment you have to, okay? Great, all right guys, you could see there uh, the things that we worked, okay? Similar drills to what we did, I think those are great drills, okay? Hand drills are great when you're trying to make changes, okay? First, to start with the hand drill, dead ball. So the player is the one that has to make everything, okay? The, the, the ball is, is dead, okay? It doesn't have any, any power or anything, so you have to create everything to the ball. So the things we work on, and I ask him, is flexible, okay, with the legs. He needs to be more flexible, adjusting the level at the height of the ball, okay? If the ball is higher, if the ball is lower, so he needs to adjust that. The other thing I asked him, he was very rigid, okay, um, with the hands and the wrist in the moment of hitting, so I asked him more of breaking here the, the hand, okay, with the right hand, breaking, to then go forward and try to dominate and go to the ball with the left hand. You will be see that um, on the video. And another thing I asked him, because he was too rigid with the hands and he was not going forward, okay, the proper way, he was not having a good follow through, he was too rigid, he was finishing, okay, like this, when he needs to, okay, hit the ball here and finish the potro, okay, I love the potro, if, if you haven't seen his videos hitting the backhand, I'm sure you, you did, uh, it looks like he hits his back after he finishing the backhand and it's great because he can change from a spin to a flat one, always with the same follow through, always just changing the, the way he hits the ball, of course, but the follow through is the same and finishing and hitting, okay, so three things, the height of the ball, okay, adjusting with the legs, breaking more the wrist, okay, to get from under the ball, and then the finishing here, being more relaxed with the core and everything. If you guys like the video, please thumbs up, uh, leave me a comment here. If, if you have any question or anything, I always try to, to respond to everything. We're gonna be having more videos of Pedro working in the serve, okay? He needed more adjustments in the serve, so we're gonna be posting that, also working in the volley. Thank you guys. If you didn't subscribe to the channel, remember to subscribe. Uh, ConnectingTennis.com, we have the website and everything. You can see all the free lessons that we have, uh, different blogs, and we're gonna have, be having somebody, okay, doing mental game with us uh, soon. So thank you guys, and see you in the next one.